Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's LEGO Robotics. Today's video, I want to just make today's video about Mr. Hino's LEGO Robotics curriculum. Um, and I will not mention it after today again, um, because here's why. I just wanted there to be an official Mr. Hino's LEGO Robotics curriculum video in case somebody hops on YouTube and just says, hey, what curriculum can I use for my LEGO Robotics classroom? And what I'll, I will do is, if you check the description, I will leave you a link to my curriculum. It's on Teachers, Pay Teachers website. It's gonna be $3. And what that, let me go ahead and take this time right now to let you know what it is you would be purchasing if you purchase my curriculum. I'm gonna start with day one, the first day of the school year. How do you take your students through getting to know the LEGO Robotics kit? cool projects that they can become familiar with the pieces and also you know join a partner and you know team building um, and then i'm going to start taking you through the year i'm going to show you and give you links to projects explain the projects um, i'm going to give you links to competitions that you can do in your classroom like the sumo bot and the launcher competitions I'm gonna give you links to all these different various projects. All of the projects, the Core EV3, the Robot Arm, the Puppy, the Gyro Boy, and the Color Sorter. And then definitely give you extra projects like the Gorilla and cool things like the Forklift. Um, and I'm gonna give you in my curriculum, I'm gonna give you a guesstimation on how many days it took our class to get through that project. So that way you're able to kind of plan and go, okay, uh, Mr. Gino says three to five, so we'll give this about a week. And so you're able to plan. I've given you some philosophies that I've had on, on grading, what to grade, what not to grade. Um, and just, I've tried to make this just all encompassing because a lot of viewers have said, Mr. Gino, what is your curriculum? And I will be honest, it's very non-structural. Um, I apologize for those of you that like want structured like day one, do this, day two. I try not to do that because I like to give myself a lot of flexibility, especially when I have students that have various uh, ability levels. I don't want to box them in and go, your project's due by Friday because some of them, you know, it takes them longer to build. It takes them longer to understand the programming. And if a partner is sick and out, it might take them longer so I like to feel free with my curriculum, but I definitely like to mix it up because you're gonna notice in your classroom, you're gonna have students that always like to follow directions. Miss Chino, just give me directions. So that's gonna be good for the projects where there's pages, page 56 to 57. But then I also have students that don't like to always follow the instructions. They like to be creative. So that's when I mix up another project where it allows them to build a, a robot that they want. So a, a case and example is we do a competition called Insane Soccer. So I don't tell them what robot to build for that. I, I might give them a suggestion, but I give them the creativity to, for those students that want to be creative. The sky's the limit. Sumo bot, they can do whatever they want as long as it fits on a piece of paper. So it allows students of various um, ability levels and desires to be able to hopefully succeed and function in this classroom. And then I also definitely have um, board challenges, um, not necessarily all, all first LEGO League. With LEGO Education, we have the Space Challenge, we have the Green City Challenge. So I'm gonna give you links to purchasing those possible board challenges because they're really cool. It allows the students to understand programming and problem solving. And so my curriculum, you know, I, I would love for those of you that buy it to give me some feedback like, Mr. you know, we need more of this, we need more of that um, because I don't necessarily know everybody's needs, but it's just a cool curriculum that I, it took me a while. I took me all Christmas vacation. I just sat down and went, I'm gonna itemize these for everybody. And hopefully it's it's pretty encompassing. If you guys are wondering, my robotics class, they have me for the entire year. So as definitely for those of you that might be, you know, just one semester, definitely going to get you through one semester. 
Um, and But if, for those of you that are teaching a year, I can go through the whole year right now. Right now at the recording of this video, it's February, and my students still have a ton of projects that they can do. So if you guys uh, want, again, check the description to the link to this curriculum. $3, I try to make it just, I know teachers don't make a ton of money uh, affordable. It's a Google Doc, so and I'm constantly updating it. So those of you that get the link can just know that I'll update things as I see things like, oh my gosh, I forgot to put this in. And hopefully you guys enjoy it and it helps you be successful in teaching robotics, okay? All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. All of you guys, I appreciate all my viewers, subscribers, and keep it coming with your comments on what you guys need, okay? All right, guys, I'm Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.